again. Masson harrying him. Lyons. Hollins tackle didn't take. And Lyons, let's go! Tremendous work there. But Gary Jones was taken by surprise by the first save from Phil Parks. Tremendous drive from all of 30 yards. Parks on the edge of his six-yard area did very well to get down and block it with his arm. And Gary Jones following up couldn't get it in the net. Francis, Thomas, Clement got into a good position and was given a good pass. Nice little chip across too, and there's the goal from Bowles. Stan Bowles finishing off a very simple move. Thomas playing it on for Clement, who'd got ahead into a good position. He'd shown us earlier he could cross the ball, that time he played the little low soft dink and Stan Bowles was running round to tap it into the net. Oh, there'll be a lot of thinking going on on those benches. That's Steve Burtonshaw on the right there with the moustache, the Everton coach. Gary Jones. Goodless. Parks gets in a bunch. The header back in and it somehow reaches Parks. Punched it out, Dobson headed it back in, and there was a deflection which took it straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Goodness. Telford got a bit of a lucky bounce there and could make the most of it. It's coming out of Bernard. cross and an acrobatic leap by Parks punched it out but straight to Bernard and Bernard struck it well over all back I would guess about eight yards Masson and with his first touch of the ball Leach puts it in the net he'd been on the field as long as it took Queen's Park Rangers to line up the free kick. And what a happy man. So simple. Don Masson, an expert with the dead ball, just curving it over the wall. And there, stealing in, was Leach. Nobody picking him up. And in it went.